I don't expect a Jedi to understand. But the Empire is strength and freedom. They certainly talk a lot about strength, but freedom? From what I've seen, that belongs to a select few. Slavery is everywhere. And even among the so-called free, only the Sith act with any sort of independence. How can you support an Empire that actively enslaves and spits on your people? I don't support them. I aim to kill every one of them. I can understand why you're angry. And I agree that we can't abide evil, but we can't let our emotions get the better of us. You shouldn't have to compromise who you are. You don't have to stay, you know. You could go to the Republic. I thought Jedi knew all about sacrifice. We sacrifice our emotions and our fears, but not our identities. I hope you've found some more information on this ghost business, Andronicus. Look, I've been doing some digging around, and by all accounts, this stuff is more messed up than Tatooine. Pirates run this place, though the Empire and the Republic have dared to move in of late. Still, ships don't land here. The cold is part of it, but there are other rumors. The kind you'd ignore if you had sense. Fortunately, I'm not interested in sense. Only ghosts. What do these rumors say? There was a light freighter out of Yavin 4, Star Runner, disappeared over this place. Reported some strange happenings before it did. It was a smuggler vessel loaded full of ancient junk from Yavin's tombs. If I wanted to catch a ghost, I'd start asking after that ship. Thank you, Andronicus. Kemval? Or is it Zash? Let's go. Where Papa Frogens in Alama Patai Galakai in Alama Amainai. Hollow Chatter says the Empire's operating on this ice block. So you might try using your new Lord of the Sith authority. Careful though, place is crawling with pirates. And they aren't all as nice as me. Seeing you return to this ship always warms my circuits, Master. It reminds me I am still... Welcome to the Adama Space Station, my lord. I'm Ensign Rail. I gather this visit is because you'll be travelling through to the surface of Hoth. 
That's the intent. I'll be scanning you so I can customize your cold weather equipment. Then I'll arrange your briefing. There we are. As you're on the VIP list, Lieutenant Halpern will brief you. He's in the theater. Good day. Attention, the Lord is present. At ease. Let's get this started. Ostensibly, the conflict on Hoth is over salvage from a battle that happened above the planet. In reality, it is our trap for the Republic. I hadn't heard anything about a trap on Hoth. Explain. The fight with the Republic has lasted for years now. The objective on Hoth is not to end the battle, but to sustain it. We want our forces small and mobile, and while the Republic keeps chasing victory, we bleed them dry of personnel and equipment. I will extend their misery with every blow I strike. Yes, my lord. Misery's easy enough to find on Hoth. My lord, forgive the interruption. I brought your cold weather equipment. We were just finishing, Ensign. This should keep your core body temperature up. When you're ready, report to a pilot in the shuttle bay for transport to the planet. Colonel Vanis at Dawn Base will be waiting for you. Good luck down there. The planet awaits, my lord. Commander Triton will want to meet with you. I'll be there in but a moment. He's well trained, they say. I hope he pulls through for the sake of the base. Good luck on the planet, my lord. Your advice boils down to doing nothing, and that I cannot do. Sir, I respect your bravery, but if you see this through personally, you will be dead. And whose leadership will we have then? My lord, we're glad you've arrived. May I introduce Commander Triton, and myself, a humble captain, core name, Eudrus. Lieutenant Halpin sent word you would be coming, and we've never had greater need of you. Colonel Vanis, the commander of this base, is missing. We fear he's dead, along with all the most experienced men from this base. Fill me in on the situation. The Colonel went out to investigate evidence of a possible spy probe near the ice lake. He was under heavy guard. We received a distress call. It was obvious he found trouble. Scout 1 to Dawn Base. Heavy casualties. Taking heavy casualties. We're under attack. We can't see the... Ah! 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 Recordings don't frighten me. I'll go see if I can find out what happened. Our best case scenario is that Colonel Vanis' communications tipped off the Republic, and he's gone quiet. But if I were out in that cold, I'd have called for a rescue. If you can find the Colonel, everyone on this base is in your debt. Last, a worthy disciple.
I'm looking for a ship called the Star Runner. My lord, truly an honor and a surprise. I'm afraid no ships have landed on Hoth in ages, unless it's a crash. Actually, the name Star Runner sounds familiar. If I may ask, what do you need the ship for? You're here on Darth Thanoson's behalf, naturally. The Star Runner was, um, shipping artifacts that belonged to him. Strange. The vessel, I recall, was a Republic ship. Star Runner. Blast. Your ship crashed years ago. It's buried under a few tons of snow by now. Your best bet? No. Give me a few months to get a recovery team on it. I'm afraid you may be dead in a few months. Is there a faster solution? Well, I mean, there's an Imperial Reclamation Service team you could take command of, if you wanted. It's just, the lieutenant in charge is a little odd. Too much time digging in tombs, you understand. I hope you plan to elaborate. They say Lieutenant Talos Drelik is very particular about his work, takes it extremely seriously. I'm afraid I can't call Lieutenant Drelik. The weather on Hoth is bad for communications. The team's way out in the way searching for some mythical Sith temple on Hoth of all places. Good luck, my lord. <laughs>